Sir Topham Hatt had gone on holiday. That morning, Duck arrived at the big station. Morning, everyone. Hello, Duck. Shut up. I heard the Fat Controller's gone on holiday. Who told you that? I don't know, but who will take over as controller while he's away? We don't really know either, he didn't exactly say. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Just then, all of a sudden, just at once, the sound of a plane filled the sky. And then... Oh god! Rail Raider! Just then, out of the plane stepped Mr. Bubbles the Clown. Mr. Bubbles? The Clown? Yup, Thomas, it's me, alright. But what are you doing here today, Mr. Bubbles? Why, I'm your new controller. What? That's right, I'm in charge for the day. Um, Mr. Bubbles, sir, your plane seems to be blocking my track. No need to worry, my boy, because all trains are cancelled. Cancelled? The passengers overheard and were very upset. But Mr. Bubbles did not care. Yes! All trains are cancelled for today and until I feel like it. Now go to your sheds! Oh, the indignity. Okay, see you later, Mr. B. Uh, Mr. Bubbles, I can't go to my shed. There's still a plane in my way. Hmm. What's your name, kiddo? Well, I'm Duck, the gr Duck! <laughs> That's great! You stick around here, Duck. You'll be my special private engine. But sir, what do you need an engine for? Well, first I need you to go to my bubble factory and get my special party van. Uh. Three hours later. This is awfully small, and quite illegal for the rails. Mr. Bubbles, may I ask a question? No! What exactly are you planning? Why, I'm planning a great railway show, right here at Knapford Station! A railway show? Oh, not just any railway show! A stupid ass, I mean a silly railway show! A silly railway show? What does that mean? I'm gathering the craziest engines to hold a grand railway show of funny laughs and giggles. It'll feature engines like that one who moved the plane out of the way. It what? But that's just Harvey. He's a normal engine with a very useful crane arm. Besides, even if that was funny to someone, there's not a lot of engines like him. Here comes one right now. Hey there, Mr. Controller Man. Did you summon me here? See, Duck, look at this engine. But that's just a normal diesel. Not just any normal diesel. Look at his face. Wait, what? Isn't his face absolutely hilarious? I guess it is odd looking, but that's not really funny. There's no real punchline. It's just calling attention to something that exists. No one cares about your opinion, Duck. This train's face is hilarious. Just you wait, Duck. When this railway show starts, it'll bring out all the laughs. It was soon the evening, and Mr. Bubbles' railway show started. At the lineup was Harvey, Philip, Boko, Dart, and even George the Steamroller. Wait a minute. Where's that engine I had specially painted? You. All right, it's time for the Great Bubbles Railway Show to begin. Wait, I don't understand. Where are all the people giving me money to see my funny trains? Well, Mr. Bubbles, as I said, this isn't really funny. Other than what you did with James here, we're just fairly normal engines. 
And even if we did have more comedic qualities, that's not really a big appeal for a railway show. People come to railway shows to see history in engines and the interesting stories behind them. Not just one-line jokes that's humor is only based on the fact of mere existence. Well, Doc, you've given me a lot to think about. Mr. Bubbles, you're back. Indeed I am, Duck, and I have decided what to do. And what is that, Mr. Bubbles? I'm gonna get you all painted to look like bees. It'll be the great bee railway show. <sighs> all right, plan two. Boko. <laughs> You'll never catch me, you suckers. You're gonna be painted as stupid ass bees for my own amusement. All right, plan three. George. Roads. Roads. Wait, what? No! <laughs> Roads. Well, everyone, we're finally free. The next morning, work on the railway returned to normal. There were plenty of passengers and work to be done. And there was no more talk of clowns as controller.